everyone, this is me Randy and welcome back to a brand new video. This is my third installment in my Reorganized With Me K-pop photo cards and extras binders series and I really am excited to be sharing with you guys a lot of new items that I have since added to my collection. I also recently got some three pocket pages from BCW so a few items that I'm going to be adding into those pages or actually items that I have been having in my collection. Of course, as always, I will leave links to all the items that I use for my binders in the description box down below. And I also will be leaving timestamps as well. So if there's a particular group or artist that you are interested in checking out my collection for or new items that I'm adding into my binder, then go ahead and just check on the timestamp of the group of artists that you're interested in in the description box down below. And as always, I hope that you enjoy this video and per usual, grab a drink and something to snack on because these videos tend to be long. So I hope that you all enjoy and let's get started. So of course, as usual, I always start off with my solo artist binder. So first up, I have a new soloist to add to the collection. And it is none other than, drum roll please, Max. Oh, I'm so happy for him. I really am. Chocolate is such a great title track. So let me add in his cover page. And he's next to J. Joel. That makes my heart so happy. And let me also add in the nine pocket sleeve. And here is the photo card that I pulled from the album. And I also have, oops, I also have the postcard. addition to this binder. And speaking of j -Jaw, I do have to add in his Defiance photo card. just recently bought his first Korean mini album and I don't believe that album comes with anything. So here is everything that I have to add into my solo artist binder. So next up is my K-pop bands binder here and the only two groups that I collect for that are under the band category is N Flying and Day 6. So of course we are starting off with day six. And I do have a three pocket page for them. And these two items here are what I'm gonna be adding. This is a postcard of one pill from their first Japanese show. And this is the Polaroid photo card a Sunjin from their Sunrise album. So let me put these two items in. bought the last album that I needed to at least be caught up with their Korean discography and that is Today. And for those that do not know, Day6 was originally a six member group and The Day is actually the only album that is a OT6 release. So let me put these transparent cards in these sleeves here.
respective sleeves. Now, if these transparent cards are not in age order, I do apologize. Honestly, I cannot see them too well because I don't know why JYP did not include their names, but I digress. So moving on to N Flying. I shockingly have something for N Flying. I know, be shocked, but on Macari, North American Macari, not too long ago, I found this postcard of Hunsun from their recent Yahoo album. And I found it for a really good price and I really do not see and flying photo cards or postcards available for sale often, and especially on Macari. So I decided to pick it up, and this is from the night version. Now, I do not have the album yet, but I'm hoping to get it really soon, as and flying is a group that I would like to catch up on in terms of the discography. So let me put this postcard inside the pocket page right quick. So it for this Next binder. Up, I have my K-pop female idol groups binder, and I only have things to add for twice in orange caramel. So starting off with orange caramel. I have to add in a free pocket page for them. And I have a Japanese photo card of Lizzie and the postcard of Nana from my copycat. So let me add these two items in this page. <laughs> lovely in their new home. I originally had this in a four pocket page but honestly it looks so much nicer in a three pocket page. And now of course moving on to Twice. I recently acquired their fancy U album and I bought version C and I did make a YouTube video on my pulls for the album so if you want to check that out I will leave the link to that in the description box down below. And there are all the photo cards that I have to add in. And as you can see, I have Jiho's lenticular as well as the sticker sheet. And speaking of Jiho's lenticular, I have a three pocket page where she can be added in. So let's do that now. That is it for this page here. And lastly, I have the sticker page. twice and that is also all for this binder and of course last but not least I have my k-pop male idol groups binder and let's start off with not BTS they're gonna be coming up in a minute but I have a, another new group to add to my collection and it is none other than Big Bang. Now I know a lot of you are probably shocked that I am adding Big Bang to the collection, but man, they have so much big music. But anyway, when it 
comes to Big Bang, I'm only going to be collecting music albums from them that I like, and that includes their Made in Their Live albums. So, so far in my Big Bang collection, I have only one of the two albums that I want to add to my collection, and that is the Made album. Now, for the Made album, if you're not familiar with how it is, for the full album, you can either get any member version or you can get the group version. And of course, I got a member specific version and I got Day Sung's version since he is one of my favorite members of the group. And unfortunately, just like for my Jay Jong Defines photo card, this photo card does not fit nicely in a nine pocket page sleeve with a cover. So I decided to just put it inside of a three pocket page for now. So let me hurry up and do this. And there is Daesung in his pocket page section here. It's not the best, but like I said, I like to have my photo cards in some sort of protection and it did not look right in a nine pocket page. So I decided to put it in a three pocket page. So that is it for Big Bang. And now we can move on to BTS. So I added three new albums to my BTS collection. And I'm also currently in the works of a collective haul video for my BTS collection while I'm catching up on a few albums that are older releases by them. So starting off, I have a nine pocket page here, and this is going to be designated for group photo cards. So I have one version of the group photo card from Dark and Wild, and I have the group photo card from Orioli 2. <laughs> photo cards looking really nice and next up I have my solo member photo cards page here so I have Jimin from Dark and Wild, RM from Oriole 2 and this is one of my personal favorite photo cards of him and lastly I have You Never Walk Alone and this is a Jin and this is from the left version I was trying to put these photo cards in because for some reason, while you're filming, placing photo cards in the top section of nine pocket pages can be pretty challenging. So there is that. And now moving on to the last group that I have to add something in for. And we're going all the way to my TVXQ section here. I do have to add in a item into a three pocket page. And of course, keeping it max themed. Here is his postcard from New Chapter 2, The Truth of Love, which is their 15th anniversary special mini album. And this is the red version. TVXQ and that is also it for this binder. So this is the conclusion for part three of my Reorganize With Me K-pop photo cards and extras binders and as always if you enjoyed this video comment down below give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. As per usual, also check out the description box to check out all the items that I use for my binders. 
And I hope that you all take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and also stay happy. And as always, this has been me, Randy. I hope to see and talk to you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.